Well, in Disney's latest earnings report, the market and investors responded pretty positively to it as it has driven the stock price over that $100 mark. And it's been around $115 per share, which is a six month high for the Disney stock. But right at that happens, Bob Iger is also now reportedly selling $41 million worth of stock at this point. And this isn't the first time that Bob Iger has done this. So we're going to read through this article here from Hollywood Reporter and also point out the last time he sold some stock and when the stock price hit then, I think we may have some similarities when we're looking at these things here, but we're going to go through this and talk about it. So hi, I'm Jared with Capture the Magic. And again, this is from The Hollywood Reporter. It says Disney CEO Bob Iger to sell up to $41 million in stock. Iger adopted the trading plan on August 14th that allows for potential exercise of his vested stock options. It says, according to a regulatory filing released Thursday, Iger could sell as many as 372,412 shares which he had acquired as part of his vested stock options with a share price of $110.33 where the Disney stock opened on Thursday. That would amount up to about $41 million if all shares are sold. Per the filing, Iger adopted a trading plan on August 14th that allowed for the potential exercise of its vested stock options in the amount of the same amount of shares that he's looking to sell which were granted to him on December 18th, 2014. The options expired December 18th, 2024, and Iger's trading plan is scheduled to terminate by December 17th. The potential sale was announced under Rule 10B5-1 plan in Disney's filing for its fiscal year. The plan sets up pre-planned trades set up to avoid accusations of insider trading that go out automatically when certain stock conditions are met. The potential sale comes after Iger and his wife, Willow Bay, agree to acquire the Angel City Football Club in July. Bay and Iger were reported to acquire the controlling stake in the Angel City Football Club at a value of $250 million and plan to invest an additional $50 million to support the club's future growth. Iger has not made the sale yet, but Disney's stock price was climbing up 6% in midday trading Thursday after the earnings beat by Disney reported Thursday morning. Typically, corporate executives like Iger have a limited window in which to sell stock without triggering insider trading concerns, and those windows are usually shortly after earnings are disclosed. So obviously, it's nothing illegal or anything of that nature, but I would argue it doesn't necessarily send the best message in the world when your CEO is selling off major parts of the stocks that they have vested. Now, if you're not vested, stocks are part of, you know, obviously Iger has a massive salary, but they'll also get, you know, they get stocks that they have given to them by the company. So technically, if you see a CEO saying they sometimes they'll say they make a dollar per year or something like that, well, they're also getting stock options, which means they have however many shares of the stocks they hold. Let's just say for, and let's just say for this example, it's a hundred shares. And if they go to sell those shares, obviously that's how they would then make money. So it's not unheard of of CEOs doing this. There is questions in terms of does it set a good, you know, tone for the company if when the stock goes up, Iger's already selling, and what other investors look at, they say, well, should we be selling too if the CEO is selling at this point? Because given the stock price has been much higher than one hundred and fifteen hundred ten dollars per share, but it is at a six month high. But if we look previously. Iger has done this before. So back in 2021, Bob Iger sells more than $90 million worth of Disney shares then. And at the time, those shares were about $178 between that and $179. So he seemingly sold those shares at kind of a high point uh, when it comes to, you know, we, we look now back at it. That was kind of the high point for those stocks as it's continued to go down and until recently was under $100 per share. And now that it's back over that $100 point, Iger selling more shares, it just sort of makes you raise an eyebrow in terms of the timing of this. Now, as much as I am not a, a big Bob Iger fan in terms of him as a CEO, I don't think he's done necessarily a great job at the company. I think he's bought things. You know, some people think he's done great. Some people think he's done terrible. But I don't think anything really nefarious is going on here. If you look at the details of this, it does say that this options to do this was expiring December 18th of this year. And they are, you know, when they go to sell these things, they do have to file these things to, you know, get around the insider trading stuff. I will say it doesn't seem like a great look when it comes to this in terms of your stock price just went up and then you're initiating this sale. This seems like it could be just a little bit of, you know, happenstance in terms of the timing of this, as he was probably likely to do this no matter what, given the amount of shares that he is looking to sell are the same shares that the options on this are going to expire at the end of this year. Again, this is one of the ways he gets paid. This is something CEOs do. You know, and if I was an investor or somebody who owned Disney stock, which I don't, 
uh, you know, I, you, a lot of those people may not look at the details of this and just see Bob Iger is selling $41 million in stock. Again, I don't think that's really a great sign of confidence to, to be sending to other, you, you know, your investors whenever this happens. It's not unheard of, but it is one of those things where it raises an eyebrow considering, again, like the last time he did this, it was kind of at a high here. And it makes people kind of wonder, like, is this as high as this is going to go? Do they think it's going to go higher? And one thing I'll always do here is I'm always honest. I may not always be right, but I'm always telling you the truth in terms of at least my opinion on things. So I don't think this is really anything nefarious. And I also don't think this is necessarily Bob Iger thinking the stock's not going to go any higher. Uh, now, I do think there are issues on the horizon, and you know, Universal and Epic Universe being one of them, considering all the money that comes in from the theme parks. But I, I, I really do think this is more or less just part of his contract with the, the stock options on here. And I did see some people send this over and were asking me, you know, like, oh, is, is Iger running? Or, you know, he's getting, you know, obviously, he's supposed to be stepping down in 2026. I really don't think that's anything to do with it. You know, this trading plan was this, was submitted in August. You know, we're now into November here. So likely this is something that was in the works for a while, considering that they bought that uh, football team back in July or, or entered into a contract to buy it. So it's probably something to do with that. So I don't really think it's anything nefarious on that end. I still don't think it's a great look. But either way, on that front, Bob Iger is getting paid again. He makes a lot of money to, in my opinion, make not the best decisions when it comes to things for Disney. But that is kind of the way of the world as there's a lot of CEOs and people that make a lot of money that don't make really good decisions. So what are you going to do about it other than just talk about it on here? And, uh, you know, if something changes on this front, I'll be sure to make a video on it. Uh, but it seems like this is likely what is going to happen here on this front, at least in Bob's case, just really good timing to be able to sell $41 million worth of stock as the Disney stock price, uh, you know, got over $100. But either way, that's going to be it, though, for this video. If you like this video, please like it and subscribe to the channel as we do lots of coverage here of theme parks and pop culture. And let us know in the comments, what do you think about Bob Iger selling some of his Disney stock in the tune of $41 million? And until next time, we will see you later.